sequence, in this sequence, you know, my belief is that all those traders from yesterday who are up, you have to encroach upon their territory. You have to force them out. You have to start to nibble so close to them that they need to either have to defend with their sharp bounce and you take your stop out, or they have to turn and run and say, okay, you're right, and I want to keep something out of what I had from yesterday. And my belief is that that's what's happening right now is we're forcing out those longs. So I would like to see a new low today. Problem right now becomes timing and obviously risk reward. Sometimes those last couple of points are the hardest. So we said yesterday, <laughs> take your stop outs and re-enter. And my suggestion for any, keep an eye on the point structure already. We've already had a 21 point day. 30 and a half is a legitimate target today, but we may need to play bounces. So anybody that's playing um, short side um, at, at this time in price, my suggestion is cover everything but your last trailer. And today, don't forget, we have a holiday coming up. So traders will want to take profits uh, my guess is uh, between now and 11 o'clock, and then that'll be it. And I know it's raining in the Hamptons, but they still, they're going to go drink. What do they care? You know? So we have gotten everything that we have wanted this morning out of the short side trade. I, I have no unfulfilled targets, meaning... I felt if we could get to the 36 to 35, we have done well. And that's all you can ask for out of life is get one good trade. Do it every day. One good trade. Double bottom usually comes first <clears throat> before a breakdown. That's why I'm advocating take profits. And then we'll take one more re-entry short. At least that's what I'm planning on doing. 